Hey guys, it's Mr. Chu, and I'm going to take you through the construction of a square on GeoGebra. First things first, I'm going to turn off the axes and get rid of the algebra view. So click on View, Axes, View, Algebra. Now to begin our construction, we do need to first construct a segment. So I'm going to use the Segment Between Two Points tool to construct segment AB. Next, we want to measure the segment using the compass tool to construct the circle with center at point A. Now we're going to construct the perpendicular line through point A that is perpendicular to segment AB. You'll notice that our perpendicular line and circle intersect. We're going to plot an intersection point at these two objects and then construct another perpendicular line. But now it's going to be a perpendicular line through point C that is perpendicular to line AC. Next, we're going to construct one more perpendicular line through point B that is perpendicular to segment AB. You'll notice again that our lines intersect and we're going to plot another intersection point there. Now we're going to construct our segments. Construct segment AC, CD, and DB. We can hide the perpendicular lines and circles so that we can just see the square. So if you use the move tool, go over to one of your lines, right click, click on show object, repeat for the other objects that you want to hide, including the circle, and what's left is a square. But how do we know it's a square? Well, we know that a square is a quadrilateral with four congruent sides and four congruent angles. But there's no measurements. Yet. Let's use the angle measure tool to measure each of the four angles. Now keep in mind we want to click the vertices in a clockwise fashion. four congruent angles. Now we want to measure each side length to make sure that each side is congruent. We're going to use the distance or length tool to measure sides AB, BD, DC, and CA. Lo and behold we have a square but the final thing to check is to make sure that all the sides and angles stay congruent. We can use the move tool to drag vertex A or vertex B around to make sure that all the sides stay congruent as well as the angles. And there you have it. We've just constructed a square on GeoGebra.